I'm going to be checking out one of Florida's most iconic gymnastics gyms that has some one star reviews. My only rule for this video is I have to leave an honest review signed by me with my profile picture and my name on it so you know it's real. Luckily the gym was just down the road. Palm Beach Gymnastics in Boca Raton. Let's go check out the inside. Ooh, it's super hot outside. Oh, luckily this place has really nice AC. Finally, a gymnastics gym. I've been waiting so long to do a video on one of these because this has some of the best equipment in the world. Gymnastics spring floors are very special because they're actually more bouncier than most floors. But a gymnastics floor does consist of three different layers. A surface layer, a support layer, and a bounce layer. Basically, it lets you jump higher. In the last video, I only tried a round off tuck on the spring floor and a couple corks. But on this floor today, I'm gonna be trying a few more tricks to see if it's actually more bouncy than the last floor. The cool thing about this spring floor is it's so massive. But the real question is, is it even good and is it worth it? And of course, we're gonna going to be starting with a round off tuck. Based off my round off tuck, it felt so bouncy and comfortable. I'm easily going to get this an S tier ranking. I'm actually seeing stars everywhere. That's because I actually had a lot of air time on this compared to the floor at the other gym I was at in Colorado. This one's way more bouncier. It's a lot more soft. This is what we're working with. It definitely has bounce with tumbling, but I'm very curious to see how it's going to be with tricking. Let's see how this goes. I will say for tricking, this is probably one of the most ideal floors you want to be on because the grip is there, the bounce is there, and the softness is there. For someone with a tumbling and a tricking background like me, this is probably the most ideal floor you want to be on. But I have one last thing I want to try on this floor before we move on, and that is using this feature right behind me. If you're curious to what this is, this is actually a small balcony. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And you rarely find these next to spring floors, which if you're creative like me, you'll be able to find more opportunities to do on this setup. Oh, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought. So it definitely is a great setup if you can do power tumbling, tricking. Obviously, I just kind of proved the point. What is your honest opinion of just working here over the last few years been like? Um, I think it's definitely been a big family culture. It's building lifelong memories uh, that they're, they're really going to carry along with you for the rest of your life. It's been amazing. Sweet. Well, we're going to check out some of the Yelp reviews in a second, but let's go check out the trampoline. Behind me, we have a tumble track. This is a different type of trampoline compared to what y'all have seen before. But the cool thing about this is it's actually a lot longer than what I've been training on, which means we can do different tricks on this. But the real question is, how bouncy is this trampoline and is it even good? Starting with a round off tuck. So to be honest with y'all, I feel like I should try something a little bit more challenging on this setup just because it's really good. So we're gonna try an entire combo. Obviously, I love this trampoline setup. I'm definitely gonna have to put this one in the S tier ranking. This tumble track pretty much had everything I was looking for to give it an S tier ranking. Although this trampoline is pretty bouncy, it is not in the safest location. I'm giving this a C tier ranking. Before we came here, we saw some negative Yelp reviews, some of them being even about the staff. So I wanted to ask one of the staff members themselves, how do you feel about this and what do you have to say about this? Um, it's definitely super hard to keep 100% of the people always happy, uh, always content. Um, I can say that we do our very best to cater not only to the families, but to the kids and also, you know, their siblings and their friends and family that comes here as well. At least this gym's making me happy so far, so I, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. This gym has a rod floor. If you don't know what that is, they use this in the Olympics as actually a power tumbling thing. And I haven't been on one in literally years. So I'm gonna see what I can try on it right now. I kinda wanna make this a little more fun, give myself a harder challenge. Meaning I'm gonna try a dub, punch, dub. If you don't know what that is, you're about to see. Okay, I landed a tad bit short on that, but I haven't done that skill in so long. But there's more cool pieces of equipment to check out this way. In the last gym we checked out, they had an airbag and not a foam pit. The gym we're checking out today, they have a foam pit and not an airbag. The difference between a foam pit and an airbag is a foam pit is a bunch of square foam blocks and airbag is a massive bag of air. I don't know. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of foam pits, but we gotta give this a try. Oh! 
Woo! All right, so I immediately went straight down to the bottom, but hey, I will say this thing is pretty freaking comfortable. I'm not necessarily the best person on bars, but they have some here, so we should definitely give it a shot. I'm thinking maybe I try a flyaway. Let's see if that's gonna work out. Oh man. Okay, wasn't the worst flyaway I've ever done, but I think I should at least try something a tiny bit harder. So I'm gonna go for a flyaway full and hopefully my hands do not rip. That would just kind of ruin the vibe. All right, let's see if I can do this first try. Okay, it's been so long. So clearly I don't have the best technique, but I still landed back on my feet, so I think that counts. Let's go check out some more of the amenities. Every gymnastics gym has a different order in which they place their balance beams. And I, for one, got a cool idea for this exact setup. I'm gonna try to jump from this balance beam to this one right here. If I can actually make it, I'll try to do the jumps all the way across all of them. Let's try it out. Woo! Okay, last time I checked, that one's very far. So uh, I don't know if I'll make that or not. I sh I'm still gonna go for it because it's gonna be hilarious, but we'll see what happens. I don't, you never know. I'm definitely nervous to try this one right now. I mean, it's been a while since I've done jumps in general, but I don't know how trustworthy this equipment is. This balance beam is like a bit old, but I guess there's one way to find out. Just gotta eye it up and then I'll, I'll be good. Oh, first try. Now let's go check out some of the other stuff. Ooh, it's hot. And if you're actually kind of hungry and thirsty mid-session, they do have a vending machine here. Compared to Snowbond, which had an entire full kitchen with pizza, wings, chicken fingers, you name it. But one of the similarities between Snowbond and this gym is the fact that you do have a viewing area to watch any tricks you want out this window right here. Say you have some computer work or something that you need to work on. You even have these little booths over here that you can do all your work. After testing everything out, I think it's time to rank the vibes off this gym and also the overall ranking right now. Between debunking these bad reviews this gym was given and testing out all the equipment, I'm easily gonna have to give Palm Beach Gymnastics an S tier ranking. Before coming here in person, all I saw online was complaint after complaint. And let me tell you, after coming here and experiencing everything in person, of course I left a five-star review with a picture of me and my signature. Palm Beach Gymnastics overall score is an A tier. I'm only saying this because I liked everything that I saw and everything I tried. If you'd like me to come review your gym, comment down below.